What's going on, everybody? Today I will be reviewing the movie Terrifier 3. Man. Woo. What did I see in that theater? Lord. Man, this movie was intense. I mean, this was a very intense movie, but I gotta say, it was fucking awesome. A fucking awesome movie. Yes, Terrifier 3 was the shit. And I gotta say, my favorite um, character, of course, is Michael Myers. Always been a big Michael Myers fan. But after watching this, I mean, I'm officially a fan of Art the Clown. <laughs> Art the Clown, that's what it is right now. But I'm still Michael Myers, though. Yep. And this is a horror slash crime film, and it's two hours long. After surviving Art the Clown's Halloween massacre, Sienna and her brother struggle to rebuild their shattered lives. As the holiday season approaches, they try to embrace the Christmas spirit and leave their horror in the past behind. However, just when they think they are safe, Art returns, determined to turn their Halloween cheer into a new nightmare. And the director of this film is Damien Leon. I'm a, is it, is, it might be Damien Leon or Leon, either one. But he did a great job making this film, a very great job. And I like how he made this more intense than the first and second one. He really did. He really stepped it up a notch with this one. And I think this is going down as the best horror movie in history. I might be reaching too much, but I think this might be going down as the best horror movie in history. Man, this is the most gore I've seen. And this movie has similarities. Similarities to the movie Black Christmas. I don't know if you heard about that movie Black Christmas. They had one that came out in the 70s and one that came out in the early 2000s or whatever. So you have the, um, of, co of course, you got the Christmas theme. In the holidays and stuff mixed with the horror. So it's similar to that. And the main character in this movie is Lauren Libera. She plays Sienna in this movie. And I love her in this film. She did an amazing job. She's the next Scream Queen. She's just like uh, Laurie Strode in Halloween. You know, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. She reminds me of Jamie Lee Curtis. She's going to be the next um, rising Scream Queen. And she's going to finish off this franchise and terrify her. I'm telling you. She is going to be in a lot of horror movies, I heard. And her performance was impeccable and outstanding. I like, I like her in this film. And I love her emotions and how she was so dedicated to her character. Great job to Lauren. And I'm going to be honest, Terrifier 3 is better than 1 and 2. I'm going to keep it real because the reason why I said that, this movie has a better storyline to it now. The 1 and 2 didn't really have a plot, really. You know, you, they kind of, but it wasn't strong enough. But this one was, you kind of get where it's going. They had a strong plot and storyline to 3. So, and they had better substance in this movie, too. And this movie didn't feel like it was a two-hour movie because the pacing was so fast in the movie. It seemed like when the movie started, it didn't waste any time at all. So once the movie started, it was just non-stop violence throughout the whole movie. It was just non-stop. I mean, yeah. <laughs> now, when you watch this movie, the visuals is going to remind you of a 70s and 80s horror flick. It is. It, just, it has that look to it, that 70s and 80s look to it. And it's classic to me, and I like the style. And I got to say, I, these low-budget films nowadays are better than these big production films. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, they're doing a great job with the screenwriting and everything with these low-budget films. This movie was on a whole nother level. Yes, a whole nother level. This movie had more gore than a regular horror film. Yes, it did. The effects were top-notch in this movie. The gallons of blood. They used a lot of gallons of blood in this film. Body parts were getting cut off left and right. It was just a mess. I mean, a mess in a good way. I mean, it was just a bloody mess. And a lot of brutal violence in here. And yes, it was a gore fest. It was a gore fest watching this movie. And I'm a true horror fan. I am. And this, I think this is the goriest film of all time. I don't think it's any movie out here that can match that. I don't think so. I think this is the goriest, bloodiest movie of all time. And I gotta say, Art the Clown is becoming mainstream now. I think we can put him in that category with uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, uh, Ghostface, Michael Myers, or Pennywise. I think he's up there with them now. And I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with him throughout. And Art the Clown, he, I like how he had a, a sense of humor in this movie. He had a better sense of humor in this movie than the first one and the second one. I like that. And I like how he transitions a little bit, too, where he has fun, funny moments where he's funny. Then, out of nowhere, he gets intense. And what I mean, out of nowhere, you don't even see it coming. Where he can be funny, then, boom, he starts to become violent. So, that's what I like about this movie. And it does keep you on the edge of your seat. 
I gotta say this movie has great practical effects. The kills were very creative. I love the kills in this movie. My favorite intense moment is the shower scene. That shower scene was very intense. I like that one. And the sound design. I love the sound design. And the music goes very great with the scenes. That intense, scary music. I love it. And I heard about this too. People walking out of the theater. I had about two people walking out of the theater because they couldn't take it. And I mean, people these days are soft. I mean, you got grown ass people walking out, walking out of a theater because of a movie. I'm like, it's just a damn movie. I'm like, my God. And to me, it's kind of it's kind of weird because you would think they know what to expect. I mean, you saw the trailers. I don't know if they saw part one and part two, but you can just look at the trailer and know it's going to be a gruesome movie. So it's like, and it, it kind of pisses me off because you can mess it up for everybody else. Say if you passing out in the middle of the middle of the theater, and now the movie gotta they gotta shut off the movie, help you out. Now everybody's you know, all distracted because you're messing up people because you can't take the movie. Now we got to stop everything we're doing. We pay money to see the movie. That's going to piss me off. So to me, if you a sensitive person, do not see this movie. If you sensitive, don't see it. I mean, man, grown ass people move, um, walking out of the movie theater because they can't take it. This don't make any damn sense to me. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I think this is the best slash movie of all time. And I got to say, this movie was done to perfection. Yes, perfectly done to perfection. And I've been studying movies for a while. And I've also been in the film industry myself. I've been an extra in movies, and I've been behind the camera too. And I got to say, the best thing to do when you're a filmmaker is keep people's attention. That's the one thing you need to do. Because um, that's what you got to do. You know, a lot of people got short attention spans. So what I would do, like, if I was... Doing this movie, I would do it just as just as the same as Damien did. You know, you want to keep people's attention. You want to gravitate people to the movie. So that's what I like about this. And this movie kept my attention the whole time. And a lot of people, some people were complaining about it. Like, yeah, it just, you didn't get no break at all. You know, it was just too much, too much action in the movie and too much horror and all of that. But the thing about it is this. You lucky it wasn't me. I would have really went over the top like he did. When you watching my movies, if I, if I was filming this movie... You will have an adrenaline rush throughout the whole movie. I don't play. You will get no breaks when you watch my movies. <laughs> you, you be like this all the time. You be like, oh, oh, shoot, damn, whoa, oh, man. All day throughout the movie. And that's what I, that's how I film my movie. So good job to Damien with this one. You know what? I'm going to give this movie, uh-oh, a 10 out of 10. Man, I'm on a roll. I, I gave the last movie I did a 10 out of 10. Now I got to give this one a 10 out of 10. Man, hey, this, I, I'm extremely excited for part four. They're coming out with a Terrifier 4. They got that in the works right now, so I'm definitely going to be at the theater seeing that when that come out. So, yeah, so a 10 out of 10 for this. Um, my next movie reveal will be Smile 2. So, Smile 2, can't wait to see that. And I hope you enjoyed this movie reveal. I will be coming out with more after Smile 2, so get ready for that. And, yeah, um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, leave some comments in the section, and I'm going to see y'all very soon. All right, I'm out.